Hello and welcome to PM Models, your weekly roundup of all what's new in the modeling world, what kits have been released, which ones are good, which ones are terrible, which ones haven't shown up. <laughs> which is the case. Yeah, which is definitely usually the case with that one. So anyway, me and Matt with you for the next God knows how long to talk all things plastic kits. So anyway, Matt, how are we doing? How's it going? Yeah, doing well, very well, thank you. Yeah, all good. Good, good, busy, good. Busy, it? Ticking good. over nicely. That's it. Well, at least things are coming in now. Uh, various yes. things. Yep, it's all picking back up in yes. time for the winter season. Well, especially over here anyway. So nights yes. are drawing in. So yeah, it's get your modeling supplies in and your kits and uh, mm. hunker down for uh, the next few months, I think. Yeah, hunker down. Uh, obviously, unless you are in the solar hemisphere, then enjoy the beach if you're allowed to yeah. go there. Yeah, <laughs> take it outside, get some, get some UV rays. Yes, that's <laughs> it, definitely. Work on your tan. Uh, yeah. But no, it's been quite good this week, I must admit. Uh, we've been very busy, uh, various new items coming in. Uh, mm. Some things clearly aren't, as always. Uh, there's a little bit of gossip going around about a certain large tornado at last from well, Italy. Could be. Could be. Um, so, again, that's quite an interesting one. Italy do have form for saying about these kits, and then you never see it ever again. So, I was a little bit worried, but apparently mm. it's now making its way down. So, that should be with us within a few weeks. Uh, we've got various other things going on. I can see it here. So, obviously, Eddard have done the Profi Pack of the Spitfire Mark 1A. Yes, they Don't have. Don't you think that's a little bit quick? Because the other one's only been out like a month, and now they've it's, released it well, again in another boxing. Yeah, well, that's kind of what they're doing. It. I mean, the other one's still available. You'd have thought they'd have waited actually well, till the the few one had obviously been discontinued and yeah. sold out, and then they'd have brought this one out. But they're proper on it. I think they're still trying to obviously cash in on the back end of the Battle of Britain. True. Yeah. So this means we're at this rate, we might see the uh, the weekend edition next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quickly yeah, get them all through that's yeah, it uh yeah. pushing them through back, on with that one um, perhaps they're, around, hey, perhaps they're anticipating a lockdown in the czech republic so they're getting them out quick before quickly. they can't produce anything mind you the way the media is at the moment apparently going to have another lockdown or a circuit breaker as they call it here in the uk uh -oh, really is that what it is is it uh, apparently I don't know where that would be. Localised, probably. You'll be oh, next. Right. You'll be locked down up in the north. It's you lot. That's the trouble. Uh, well, I've heard my um, my hometown of Nottingham is due for a, a lockdown. Well, I've been saying so, that for years. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so, that'll, uh, that'll please my mother. Yes. Luckily, we've seen her this weekend. But yeah, it's. Um, I think they do around the city centre because I was ribbing, obviously, Andy about it, but he lives in Mansfield. So, yeah. you know, but that. You know, well, what's worse? We'll leave it. We'll leave it. That's <laughs> we'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, but anyway, uh, various things come along. So we can see down below here. So we've got the MiG nineteen, uh, which is a very nice kit as well. So that's one forty eight limited edition. I must admit, I have to get one of those in there just to have a sneaky peek at those. Uh, yeah, those have been going quite well. Yeah, I'll get one up for review. That's obviously the trumpeter kit with the bits and bobs in it. Yeah. So um, yeah, Mr. Buller is obviously Comrade Buller on the list for one so yes he'll be getting one <laughs> so that's right i'll have his and do a review of his yeah yeah probably easier actually yeah <laughs> definitely and obviously the nice one there is the academy 72nd f35b this time so obviously we've seen the a then they did the export a version and now we've got the b de, de, de. there it is. Box, actually. it is which is a brand new box, tool isn't it? yeah is there anything in yeah, it cause, hold on because i've got an a here look I was going to say, why have the box got bigger? There you go, I ain't got a big enough thing, there we go. Yeah, look, they've made the box bigger for the extra so one sprue. But obviously, I'm going to get one of these down to you for a review. It's obviously that bit, look. Yeah, yeah, it's this the door on top. That takes up box. massive. It's <laughs> actually full. Yeah, it's oh, not it's just bad. I thought it was going to literally be rattling around in there. But um, I've not even looked there, so this is for... Ooh. Ooh. I'm not saying anything because obviously I tell you what, I think that just will give the Azagal one a run for its money. Is it? Well, like I'm just going to say one. that because that's a quick look and I think that looks all right. So yeah, so yes. I tell you what, we we, we are going to have a show on Academy one day, aren't we? Cause... We are. We're going to do just a full show. We'll start doing our series of PM specials about manufacturing yeah, kits. I think. Yeah, and obviously we've got the A's back in as well, yeah. which is. Still a nice kit, actually. I don't think that's a bad kit either. For so scale. hopefully we'll see the sea soon. We'll see the navy version. Well, well, you'd, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? Do you think that'd be in a bigger box? Is it a bigger jet? Mm. That'll turn up in a small box. Well, I'll show you again. Look, I think you've reviewed it. Yeah. At least they put 
the right size kit in the right size box. It's not like yeah. loads of space and they're just rattling around. So, um, yeah, come on, Academy, get some more kits produced. Yes, come on, Academy. We like Academy. You do and very, just very like well. We're at Academy because we'll just, uh, just think we've got obviously, yeah, things back in. Yes, which again seems to come and go. So, um, really, really nice kit. So again, really? don't forget, that one there is me and Matt. We spoke about this one yeah. uh, a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about it. That's the new tooled one, which well has got all yeah, of these, got both of them there. Funny, so they did release two. Uh, the original one on the left there has been around forever um, and is very much old school. No, you know, nothing to go over the top about, although it's probably the best Cobra in that scale. Mm. But the uh, whiskey one, which is the one over on the other side, the Zulu one there, the Z one, that is the new tool one with a slip mold in. So it's got one piece rocket pods, one piece tail and yeah. all the nice stuff. And it's very, very much more of a refined kit. It, it's definitely, you can see the evolution of mm. old school and the new stuff. And it is a very, very nice kit indeed. Yeah. So, yes. so they're back in as well. And mm. also just to complete the Academy restock. I mean, about a few bit in, but the bone. Very nice. So as we were good saying, kit. really, I built the old Panda one last year. And uh, yeah, that's where you want to go. For a 144 scale, uh, B1B, definitely. Very, very nice indeed. Yeah. Bang up to date version. I'm, so, I'm glad they're kind of back available again, because the kind of thing with Academy, they come and go really fast and, mm. you know, and they take a while to get restocked. So I don't know, obviously, if that's production from South Korea or whatever, we have, obviously with COVID in the, in the pandemic. So um, we'll see, hopefully, We'll get a regular supply now of Academy kits. Yes, it'll be nice because I say we do like Academy. We will, as I say, I think in the future, me and Matt will sit down with over a, a pint and discuss mm. a list of manufacturers and we'll do one off shows talking yeah. about obviously a little bit about the history of the company and then obviously we can work our way through some of their best releases uh, yeah. and stuff like that and uh, what they've reboxed or had reboxed by other people and that I should think it'd be quite interesting shows to do really so yeah I do as well I think as well if we do some more of the what you say underrepresented manufacturers that I think yeah. are gems but they seem to get overlooked I mean I will I mentioned it but like mini art I think is one of them yeah uh, and there's loads, there's, there's loads of others we can obviously bring up and have a, have a good chat about. So what we find interesting as yes. well about the releases and, and and stuff like that. So yeah, so yeah, that's all good. Definitely. If you've got any ideas for shows or companies you'd like us to showcase and things like that, then shoot us a message and let us know because it gives us a bit of things to mull yeah, over. Yeah, a bit of feedback stuff. of yeah, what, what you'd like to hear us waffle on about, basically. Yeah, yeah. If you've, a couple Sorry. of grown men waffling over yeah. a pint. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> be like oh, a last Smith and Jones. Just while I'm on, because obviously last week I was supposed to be with you today. Yes, you were. But we've actually been we've sensible and because of, of the better. growing problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. With the um, yeah, with the obviously increasing infection rates, we've we've knocked it on the head for this year, and yeah, and we'll see about doing it again next year, having a meet up and stuff. But yeah, we've. We've been sensible for once. Yeah, I was going to say, we, did. we took the decision actually almost after the show last week and we were saying that yeah, not being funny, the infection rates are going up everywhere. It's getting a bit in antsy out there now. So we yeah. didn't think it would be responsible for, for doing it. So we've yeah. kept our social distance of almost 300 miles. So it's yeah, fine. Yeah, 300 miles distance. That goes to the person who messaged me the other day saying, can you pop up and see Matt uh, and grab a couple of bits and I'll pick it up from you? And I'm like, well, one, I'm not having people here either, clearly, because of COVID, but also you do realise Matt's almost 300 miles away. It's not the type of thing you just pop to. Yeah. It's like a nine and a half hour round trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yes. So, so yeah, that's Academy stuff. Like I say, we've got some of the Academy back in stock, which is nice. And mm -hmm. also, which I did mention last week, and they are in, talking of stealthy Ooh, yes. type Stealth. aircraft. Yes. We've got the F-117s back in, which we have a special order from Japan. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we've got a carton of them in, so they're back in stock as well. So anybody wants to grab one of those, definitely they can do. Yeah. And I've been informed, because obviously I do get a message quite a while, bit about the F-15s and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I thought there was in the other week and it weren't they so, cocked up and all, yes. shall we say, to yeah. put it politely. Um, Obico are having three containers this month from Tamiya. So, Laura Barrages, he says, yes, they should be on one of them. Hopefully. I do hope, so I'm going to have a proper egg on my face again. Because <laughs> it is due, it is actually the time up the three months sort of when we order is sort of the lead time for these special orders from Japan. So, yeah, yeah. 
but we'll see. I'll we keep you see. informed. Just watch this show for the I next. I know, yeah. Watch the show. You'll find it. You'll know because one of them's mine. So it's case of it yeah. to be kit. <laughs> must uh, admit. So yeah. Mm. Also restocked, Bandai. Mm. Which is something we haven't heard of for a while now. Bandai, you know, obviously with the Revel tie and stuff like that, it mm. literally died off. But yeah, now it's coming yeah, back. It did. Uh, I presume again that was shipping and all the distribution, yeah, all the usual on. stuff. Yeah. So the only one we haven't got in is the X Wings, mm-hmm. but they are coming back in. I think they're just waiting for them to come in. So obviously Tie Fighters, ATSDs, Attacks, Snow Speeders, uh, B Wings, yeah, Fickle Death Star, yeah, uh, and also we can get hold of if anybody wants one is the big Millennium Falcon that you've obviously built. I've not yes. put them back in stock because we mm-hmm. haven't got any stocks here, but we can, I can get, get stocks of them. So if anybody wants one, then just bang me a message. And, the other uh, thing as well, and I'm going to catch you off-footed now, can we still get hold of the Zvezda Star Destroyer? I think I can get it from the Revell boxing. Yeah. Because you can't get it through the Revster itself because no. of licensing, so it is the Revell boxing. I do think it's still available. I still yeah. think I get them. Yes. Why? Do you want one? Or? Well, no, because clearly I've got my stupid Togel one. But yeah, yeah. it's um, no, it was just something I was just somebody the other day said to me about it. Is it and the I one was like, I'm 700? not sure if it's readily available, or if it's been discontinued, or what's going on with that. Yeah, is it the one, one, two, seven hundredth one? Is that the one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's the big four foot one, three foot one. Yeah, I think you can still get the Ravel one. Mm. Yeah, because I wasn't Which sure is if nice it was again. readily available. Okay. I was going to say, I think that'd be a shame if it weren't available, to be mm. honest, because that's, I know it's not quite as probably as accurate as the one, you, you know, your proper studio one, but mm. yeah. it looks like a, looks like it's a still, big, yeah, I was going to say, looks still, like a big looks triangle. Like one to me, yeah, absolutely, yes. I think it's only yeah, it like three inches shorter than mine. So. Yeah. yeah, it's still a lump, isn't it? <laughs> it is, so, definitely. Hmm. And a bit of work and stuff. And just um, on me on my little list here, as you've just mentioned, when we started the tornado, the Italeri tornado, we've got a, a well, I'd say a date for it, fingers crossed, is going to be November. Yes. So obviously our pre-order for that is now finished. Mm-hmm. Um, and as soon as they land and come in, you'll get one to review. And obviously people who've put the name down for pre-order will get one as well. So hopefully it's going to live up to how long it's taken them to produce yes. it, to be honest, because yeah. it's been a good three or four years. Uh, yeah, it's typical it. Italy of doing that thing, that sort of long haul with it. But yes, I'm thinking it's uh, it's one of those kits Sorry, telephone. <laughs> Sorry, it's been answered. Uh, but yeah, it's one of those kits where, as I say, I was a little bit hesitant because obviously when it was first sort of rumoured, it was very mm. rumoury, wasn't it? Um, yeah. And again, I was directly involved almost with the rumours of the uh, 48 scale Merlin helicopter uh, yeah. as well, which we never saw, but it was in their catalogue and all. And I must admit, you go through that thing of like, oh, that's brilliant. And then, oh, where is it? And it's been yeah. many years now, quite quiet. Then we I say last year we got a few shots of the actual tooling, which was always a bit exciting when you actually see the real tooling and not CAD, because yeah. you know it, it is coming then. And then it went quiet again. And then, but again, with the year with COVID, it may be manufacturing yeah, slots and various things, as I say. So hopefully it won't be long. It'd be nice to have a nice tall one. It'd be the first time we've had a new Tonka in ages. You know, in yeah. that scale. <laughs> yeah, yeah. well, it's only the Ravel one, isn't there? I was going to say, we've bitterly obviously getting it odd with the COVID at the beginning of the year as well. So it's obviously mm. put them back for whatever they were going to do and probably the rest of the country. So, yes. uh, but there is sprue shots up on the forum. Somebody has put the yeah, sprue yeah, shots up on the forum. There. And it, it does look nice. There's it a full engine nice. and, you know, yeah. photo wet's a bit thick, if I'm honest. Well, yeah, but they, it's they, it's a bit, always you know, is a bit thick. It's a bit like steel. The industrial bender, I think, to sort of shape it. Yeah, the pipe bender just... on your device. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, now, apart from that, no, it'd be a good addition to the mm. Tornado family. Yes. To be honest with you, I think now a new 72nd one is, is due. I think the Ravel one, which our everyone is still the best in scale and still a mm. very good kit, is now getting a bit long in the tooth. Yeah. I do think, you know, there's some companies out there who could do an absolute storming job on it. And I'm if it's been one of them and mm. hopefully now it's retired oh, yeah now it's getting declassified uh, yes. people can crawl over them a lot more and get all the proper yeah. measurements and things from them so yeah always nice to hint, see that hint hint here fix get on yes, it yes, but, um, you, you know you know if, if we were going to do it justice mm. they would be the company probably to do it to be fair if you go out like the buccaneer the phantom and, and the other yeah. stuff that's released then i think Airfix would do a fab job on it so 
You never know. If it was, I think Nathan would just explode. I think he would. He would just go <laughs> puff in a puff of smoke. Was, yeah. Just be his boots left on the floor. He'd be so excited. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, that's all good. Um, and then Zrebster, Hercules is imminent. Okay, so this is a this C130H. Yep. Not the J. A lot of people have messaged me about it saying it's the J. It's the brand new one. No, unfortunately, it's not. It's the H, which is a later one. It's the one with the square props, so the easiest way to look at it, versus the curvy ones that like the new J has and things like that. Yeah, it's the old school one, isn't it? Yeah, 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 so, it's the old one. But still so very, very nice and still in service. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a, I mean, our old aircraft now. Well, I don't know, yeah, I, they've all, everyone's been saying it's going to easily do the old hundred. They reckon with it because of just of what it is. It's just one of those goes just, on forever. Just a good design, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So, so you excited with this release? I am actually because it'd be nice to see a Hercules. Let's face it, we haven't seen. Who did the one four four one? Did the smaller ones? There was a company who did those. Who was that? I know the thing he did the one two hundredth ones, which was a Gower. Uh, I think somebody did another one, but there was a nice little baby one, little small one, and I was quite tempted about doing that one because it out of them, it was probably the best that you can get. Uh, I know I've got actually I've got one of Matt's kits here. Uh, I've mm. got the AC one thirty, the seventy second one, which is the only one that's recessed. Yeah, weirdly, all the yeah. others are raised details, but again, it's the it's the actual the uh, Spectra, the AC one thirty H, uh, and again it is recessed detail, but it's odd because they never did any of the others. Nope. You know, and we've seen nope. reboxings of J's, which are just extra bits been added onto the old ones, and it's still technically got raised panel lines and all the rest of it. That's the only one that has them, which is odd. So it's, it'll be nice to have a normal Hercules, recessed details, but modern, so it should be quite nice and crispy and, and yeah. all, the, all the nice refined details with it. And again, the nice thing about the Herc is if you wanted to, you could open up the back door, hopefully, and it'll be internal details like some of the other ones I did, like when I did the one for the Luftwaffe SIG with yeah. the little baby 160. Uh, yeah. and stuff you say you you can do a lot with those you know they're not too bad you know they don't take up a massive amount of room if you hang them on the wall they're all right no yeah, another wall I'm, hanger for me i'm running out yeah, of walls yes. i'm gonna have to start <laughs> taking pictures down and everything to make room for them all <laughs> bigger, bigger room yeah that's it need a bigger room need a gallery just hang them on the walls <laughs> yeah I was going to say again, though, it's an iconic aircraft, isn't it, the Hercules, to say the least. You know, the and, amount yeah, of and to be honest with you, that's, if you wanted some fantastic options, look at the Greek ones. Yeah. Because the Greek used to do the fantastic tail art with them. You used to see them at Riyadh every year. They'd do a new one for Riyadh with the tail art and stuff like that. Yeah. But let's face it, everybody's flown the Herc. It's one of those aircraft that just goes on and on and on. Uh, but again, you can almost pick any country's flown it. You know, that's the thing. It so. is, yeah. It's popular, in it? Like I said, there's going to be masses of aftermarket detail, mm. uh, de decals for it, and yeah. probably the aftermarket guys will jump on it as well. And mm -hmm. and a mass set. And a mass set, absolutely. You need a mass set for that. <laughs> you need a mass set, when it, with that glass at the front. But yeah, uh, so mm. reserve has got it right, and they've done it justice. Yes, which, yeah. I must admit, I'm really, it. really excited about seeing it. I can't wait to review it. Building it, it's going to be a big lump, but... I, th I think it'd be one of those kits be very, very good to do. Very, you yeah. know, it's one of those things. You can put as much detail into it. I can imagine, because already there is aftermarket engines available for older ones mm. uh, with all, obviously all the engine detail showing and stuff like that. And I probably assume because it's an H, it'll transfer across or they'll yeah. update theirs to fit it perfectly and stuff. So there is a lot of aftermarket available for Herx as well. So, yeah. Good so one. yeah, Looking forward to that. Uh, just, just going back, the pre-order for that is closed as well. And obviously, yeah. like I said, I, I've been told it's doing at the end of this month or perhaps before if yes. the equipment uh, comes in. Mm -hmm. So happy days, really. Mm -hmm. We'll get one straight to you for a review yeah, as well. Uh, talking back end of the month, probably back end of this month, beginning of November, is the Great Wall Hobbies mm. stop. I think it is anyway, if I'm right. If not, I'll be getting Mr. Gary from Tiger jumping on and going, yes. no, it's November. <laughs> I only yes. told you that last week, but um, yeah, the Great Wall Lobby stuff, obviously we have ordered it like we've said before last week and probably the week before, it is on order and as soon as Gary gets it, Tiger will be getting our stocks in, so again, yeah. that's going to be quite nice to have that full range back in. Absolutely, so we're talking there good, about good all the kit. F-15s, the F-14s, yeah. the flankers, yeah. Yeah, Mixed you need it. Yeah, it's going to be the lot, yeah, yeah. it's going to be good. Um, talking of stuff from Gary, Roden 144 B36 is out. Yes. Um, uh, he's going to send me one, so I can send it to you for review. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
again, again that's you know you, often when you mention the word one four fourth you're thinking but don't forget yeah. this is the peacemaker which i think has got the biggest wingspan of any prop because <laughs> it's the one up, with the up. engines at the back yeah. You know, it's like a dick dastardly, but it's absolutely huge. It's, I think it's got a bigger wingspan, if I'm right in thinking, than the B-52. Mm. So if you imagine it in 144, it's still going to be a hell of a lump, you know. So don't think it's going to be some tiny little thing, because it isn't. It's still going to be a bit big. Let's face it, we've all seen the Telford experience. I've got the photos of it, of the 48 scale one, which is like the size of a double bed. <laughs> I mean, I've got the 72nd one up there, mm. um, and that is huge. Yeah, oh, that's is. an old, that's the old monogram kit. Yeah, but, I did the old uh, monogram one it, years ago. It's, yeah, it's massive it in seventy second. So I think one ball four four is. I think it's a, a good scale, scale for, for it. it. Yeah. Like I say, it's when you've built it, what you do with it? Because unfortunately, mm. being the age of the the monogram Ravel, whichever one it is, original kit in seventy second, you can't like take the wings on and off. It's no. not designed for that no. for storage. Or I think you know you could probably do it if you put some work into doing it, mm. but. You know, obviously the age of the kit has got to be from the 80s, is it? Oh, yeah, 70s, 80s. 80s? Oh, to be honest, it could be late 70s, 80s. I built it in the 80s, yeah. late 80s. I built yeah. it in about 87, 88 when I was yeah. about 16. So, yeah, yeah, that was the thing. And, and bare metal was... as well. There's a lot of uh, real yeah. estate to paint in bare metal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's it. Get your polishes out. Get, get your rattle cans <laughs> out, I think. So, um, so yeah, obviously when that's come as well, he's going to get mm -hmm. a bit of a care package next week. Yeah. When, oh. when I'm back off my weekend holiday. Yes. I'll, sli I'll slip that in there. I'll slip that in at the end quick. They'll never notice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and also I've been informed that Hobby Boss 132nd Invader is doing today for mm. uh, uh, Creative Models. Very nice. So that's going to be a big lump, mm. isn't it? I say, you don't see many invaders. That's the thing, isn't it? No, no, apparently that, I think it's more the bigger stuff, because obviously the, the, I've been told as well, the 118th 262. Right, which is in. the old Merit kit, is it? I think it is, yeah, yeah. and the UF, 118th right. UF. Yeah, so, which is definitely Merit. Which yeah. is definitely Merit kit, because they've changed the names down to, to a, yeah. what's the company called? I can't remember now, they've had another name change. I Love, I love Hobby or something, Yeah, is it? that's it, it's probably something lost in translation, but you know. Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> it's hobby at the end of it, eh? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, so they're doing all the biggest. If you're into your bigger stuff, then they're, you know they're they're uh, coming out and being stocks at places soon. Yes, yes. Um, and then really, we've just had basically it's been tools and paint restocks mm -hmm. again, which is we're getting a lot of. We're getting a lot through. We've had attacker back in, another restock of them. Mister Hobby's been in. And yep. literally the leveling thing has gone back out. So I've got another order of that coming in, which will be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So if anybody needs some leveling thinners, that'll be back in. But yeah, pretty much their stuff's back in stock. And the 502 oils. Yes. Can't All go wrong with Abtai Lung. No, we're good. I'll tell you what, they've been a proper good run on them as well. Mm. Um, not in normal Starship filth either. No. Cream Brown seems to be the flavour of the month. This that, week, because everyone's been doing REF stuff, you see, and they're using yeah. the brown for the uh, earth yeah. colors. Yeah. Yes, it's can't but, blame them. Uh, yeah, so like the sets are back in, and obviously the individuals and stuff. I think the only one we haven't got is either Raw Umber or Burton because they didn't have any in stock, literally. But Black Smoke, Starship Filth, Neutral yeah. Grey. I don't know, you, whatever you reel off, what you use is should be in stock. Like I yes. said, there's only the, the Raw Rumble or Burt Umber, whichever one it is, is out because they ain't got none. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll keep good. Re and also the affinity boards are back in, or well, yeah, they are, aren't they really? They cut in map boards then. Sorry. Always keep one within reach. Yes. Yeah, we've got <laughs> them back in. Yeah. No, as I say, you can't go wrong with those. Uh, oh, yeah. I must admit, as I say, we've been doing uh, various things as well because we've got the Hellcats in now. Yeah. And I have to say, I have finished mine, so I just bang my overhead on. Yep, yep. So give them, a, give them give, a tour. Give, the, give you a whirl. Um, so here we have our very nice hole cut. So again, sorry, it's got a pitot tube on one wing and I've snapped it off twice already now. But yeah, it turned out, I have to say, right, decals aside, because you would have seen my show yesterday probably. But yes. the kit itself, it's absolutely beautiful. Really, very, very nice. Great, great kit. And again, you know, like I've said through this entire build, when you talk about it, it is 18 quid, 
it, it, to be honest, it's one of those kits that you wouldn't think it'd be that good. For 18 quid, you'd expect to have usual things. Really, really yeah. nice. And, you know, you think this is totally out of the box, apart from I've just added some strapping underneath. So you've got the strapping underneath because it doesn't oh, right. actually come with it. So I've added mine in there. Yeah. And again, we made our own seat belts by using the decals on a bit of foil. Um, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. But apart from that, absolutely fantastic. Really very, very nice kit. And that's obviously just grey wash on there. So to give it a nice sort of dusty look and all the rest yeah. of it. But yes, very angry looking Hellcat. Very small. It's, it's very cute because when you see him like this on the close-up, he looks like he's smiling. And then on here, he looks yeah. very angry. So, yes. But yeah, decals aside it's uh, fantastic very very nice indeed and also just while i mention it due to popular demand we are now doing bottles empty bottles which to be honest i've been putting them off doing it for years because it's like why um <laughs> but <laughs> but i get asked for them a lot so these are the old uh, hdpe types which means they're impervious to absolutely everything let me just grab mine because i'll tell you what they're good for <laughs> Well, I label mine up, but yeah. I've got smaller ones than you, but I put thinners in them, you know, for decanting. So I've got levelling thinners, yes. Mr. Colour thinners. So I've got rapid thinners. Yeah. Obviously, just normal Selly. And that's thinners what I thinners. tend to use it for as well. I've just got, I, haven't, I must label mine because I don't, I'm bad. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so that's what I do. So the great thing is about it, like we were saying, is that because it's got these tops on these, you can just open them up just a little bit. Yeah. And you can use them like a dropper bottle. So yeah. you can literally just come in or you can like, you know, so you can get one drops at a time, or you can open it right up and squirt in a good dollop. Um, and away you go and use them like that. So they are available in the store. What I do is I'll get out some up to Matt as well. And as I say, yeah. it comes as a pack of four for five pounds. But these are totally impervious to everything. And to be honest, I have been just checking and it is even fine to put in Mr. Tool Cleaner. So if that's good in there and it doesn't melt it, nothing will. I'm not going to say I've got proper wrapper, uh, lacquer. Yeah. Cars, you know, yeah. car spray grade celly thinners in mine, and not, yeah, they're perfect. They don't melt, they don't do anything. No. Like I said, it's just more precise when you're thinning your paints, aren't they? That's all. You Absolutely. Just... And also, you yeah. don't use as much as I found as well. The trouble with these poor ones is that on here is that mm. you do tend to chuck in a bit too much because it's very difficult just to get a few drops out. But, yeah. um, you know, it's dead handy in these. But anyway, they are available, as you say. It comes in a pack of four. It's got the nice wide neck onto it because I know there is some out there that have the smaller neck. Ours have got the wide neck. Yeah. So it's I've, the same I've as the wash buy, bottle. Where are they? I don't know if I've got one here, but I've had to buy a specialist little funnel because these are the... Oh, uh, you've got the small neck ones. Yeah. The narrow necked ones. But yeah, yeah. I, I bought some special little funnels to decant, obviously, my thinners into them. But yeah, yeah. they're a lot better with a wider one. So it's a wider with a neck. But anyway, obviously, they do fit the wash bottles as well. So that's why I've been recently using them. We don't do these with the wash ones because, to be honest, it's that much taller. It will never fit in my packaging. So, uh, but anyway, so anyway, they are available. They are up up now with you on the uh, Glory Model site. They are there. And obviously, I'll get them up to Matt. I've got some stuff going up to him tomorrow. So yeah. um, I will get those up there. And then obviously, he will have them in stock as well. So that would be a nice, sort of straightforward, easy one. You, um, you do know you're going to get asked now about them, but your wash with them tops on, don't you? Well, this is it. But the thing is, is that one, it would make them more expensive because they're an expensive top compared to a plastic cap. But also mm. room in packaging because it won't fit in any packaging. Because I can only get four in there like that. It's like mm. put it pretty much where it, it fits, where it touches. So, yeah. uh, yes, it, uh, it just makes it a little bit more tricky to get them in. But yeah, I, you know, as for that, buy them as a pack. You can mix your colours then and you'll be good to go. Yes yeah no that's it's a good idea to be honest it's it's just a lot cleaner as well than chucking thinners or whatever you're going to decant you know into them all over your place or using pipettes to be honest as well yeah yeah definitely you know, save the planet and all that with a plastic yes you know so yeah cool. uh, and that's the least bit of a quieter to show today but he's he's like i say he's tools we've had mm -hmm. quite a few tools come in scrapers yeah. Um, we've got some more scrapers coming again which will be the whole range this time because it seems we can get either one or two and not the third one or just one out of the three or but now we'll have them all in yes so um they'll be in probably next week that order's in and snips are back in and scraping oh, it's the future i tell you oh it's just <laughs> yeah everybody should have a scrape yes but we've got more coming in as you say yeah it's I'm, this one I'm actually a... that's coming back in because this is the one they've been out of stock of yeah which is my one but the one i like and then obviously it's we've the got the, curve, the curved one here 
Yeah. Which is coming back in as well. I think we've only got a couple left. They've done, and then the the black candled one, the original, as I say. Yes. Um, they're coming back in, and we've got some of them in stock. So, uh, do we know the difference between the black handle one and the uh, normal ones? These ones with the orangey greeny handle. Apparently, the finer. Yeah, because quite... somebody asked me the other day. I'll be totally honest, and I don't know because I've right. never had a black what? one. Pause there. I'll go and get one. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk to them about it whilst you. Do. It. but no somebody the other day asked me and it's just being honest i don't know i've never owned the black one these are the only ones i've had i've had lots of different scrapers but as in these master tour ones this is the only one i've ever owned and i do love it because i use it for absolutely everything and the big thing is if you've never used scraping before watch a couple of videos on it because once you start scraping you'll find that if you've got something like like a step so two fuse and large halves to come together you've got a bit of a step you can just come along with a scraping tool and take some out height out of it and see exactly what you're doing. Whereas if you're in there with sanders, you can be destroying all the detail around it and you can be a lot more precise with the scraper. Right, there is a big difference. Oh, look, one's a lot more pointy. One's like a shank. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, there's a, there is a big difference. I actually thought the first thing is that one had superseded yeah. this one. Yeah. But completely different. Crikey. And then obviously you've got the curved one, so if we pull all three out. Yeah. So one's got like a single knife edge, if you like, and then the yeah. other one's got like curved, and the other one is a point, proper straightforward point. So, so yeah. again, I think the trouble that you have, if you have one with a flat point, just like that, because my other one that I've got down in here has got that flat point. Uh, is just one is that it's very difficult like we were talking about if you've got like a uh, a seam line come together and it's on the flat it's very difficult to get in there with one because all you're doing is pointing but if yeah. you've got one with a curve you can lightly run up and down it and i just think it's a little bit more you know gentler on there than using a sander or something else to get in there it's a bit like i can't remember what the number is but um you know the old days we used to use a razor blade and you get the curved one Yes. Because obviously yeah. that can go into corners and get things in there. Well, this is the same with these. So if you've got like an ejector pin inside a curve, you can just go in there and scrape them out with these. But obviously if you've got a flat, just a point one, you can't get in there because there's yeah. nothing to scrape against. So yeah, yeah. again, they've all got their points because the great thing about the small pointy one, like that shank, is <laughs> uh, you can literally get in between sprues to do burring cleanup before you take it off the sprue. Because it's yeah. a lot easier doing it on the sprue and cleaning them up than it is when it's off because otherwise they snap. So you've only got to do the actual locating areas and things like that. But no, do like those. I've become quite a scriber over the last uh, deburring and just for general scene cleanup now, whereas before it was just deburring and stuff like that. I tend to use, you know, scrape cleaners and things like that all the time now for general cleanup. It's just as well for how much they cost. Oh, it's, that is it. They are peanuts. Really they are scriber. Aren't it? Mm. You know, I think this is a tenner and I think the others are like, 13 or 14 yeah, quid or 12 something. pounds or 13 pounds yeah yeah it's yeah. not a lot really in the grand scheme of things and especially how much use you're going to get and how you know it's one of them it's one of them go-to tools yes if definitely. you start using them it, you, you'll just go back to it mm -hmm. time and time again it's not one of them i'll use it once it goes in a drawer and you'll forget about it like a lot of tools do to be fair isn't it yes but it's definitely. Gonna be like it's going to be up there with your snips and mm -hmm. your sanding stick and your you know well i can always tell from my personally because literally yeah. i have my handful of tools is literally yeah. just here that's yeah. my everyday tools that i use all the time behind me in the cabinets i've got hundreds of tools i've never used probably this year oh, i've got draw full. you know I've but they all seemed a good day. idea at the time but what i use is literally yeah. either here or maybe just in the mugs next to me so yeah yes but yeah. Uh, very nice very good yeah. um and just also yeah on the restock thing Small photo etch vendors are coming back in. We've got the mediums. Mm -hmm. We don't really carry the large ones, but we can get them. But really, I think there's more use for the small and the medium. So the small ones will be back in as well on the order that's coming with the scrapers. So, yeah. so they'll be in stock next week. So obviously next Wednesday's show, we'll, yes. we'll just give a run round of what's come back in. So yeah. Cool. Very good. That, that's it. Don't think unless you've got anything else. It's we'll a, bit a couple of questions. Yeah, all right, questions, yeah. A couple of questions. Uh, Graham says, hello, Matt and Phil. Can you tell me about the quality of amusing hobby kits? I think they are uh, amusing model kits. Um, oh, yeah. I've yeah. never seen this manufacturer before. Have I done a review on any of those? I'm just trying to think. i tell you what does works. Of, um, mm. The Ellie yeah. rocket plane was a, a originally amusing hobby's kit. Yes. 
a lot of them are a bit sort of, um, how can I put it, sort of what they call the post-war German, you know, if we'd have carried on. Yeah, yeah. That sort of, you know, paper Man in panzer. in the high castle. Yeah, basically, yeah, <laughs> a bit paper panzerish, but actually they've bought out a new Centurion Mark V. Yeah. yeah. It's one of their new releases. That's... And they do the Conqueror, which we do, which is, you know, I think they're the only one who does it, apart from probably accurate armour. Mm. And a few British stuff, sort of the bigger tanks, again, some of them are paper panzers, or they were just prototypes and... But they're good kits, actually. They're, they're not bad kits. They're nicely moulded and stuff. So, yeah. I was going to say, that. didn't I do the review of that Conqueror? Uh, Conqueror I don't know if you did in the end. I, I don't know. know. Might have. Sure we did, but I just can't seem to see it in my... Because obviously they're not in my list of kits where we've done lots of them. And say so mm. that's that uh, jet plane thing. Yeah, the Ellie, is it? The Yunkers? Ellie. Yeah, the Ellie and the Wally. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> original yeah. names but yes but as i say but didn't they do the um uh turret removal crane thing as well wasn't that amusing hobbies? oh yeah cause, and also they're doing a elephant tank with full interior yeah we've actually got them in stock if you actually go to amusing hobbies we have got a few of them in or you know the conqueror uh, a big french tank that was massive yes and again the crane yeah the crane in the and the um yeah there we go. that was the one because i i saw that one yeah. There's the Badger. The Badger, I'm yeah. pretty sure I did do the Conqueror. We've, I've reviewed that. I don't know where it is, but no. I'm sure I did a review on the Conqueror. Yes. So but yes, a there, there's some interesting subjects, and Daz, Daz Works, are, I've reboxed a few of them as well. Yeah. So, hmm. worth it. Yeah, nice kits. Nice kits indeed. Cool. Okay, uh, Frank says, good day, guys. Question for Matt. Any update on the F-15E's pre-order? As I say, yeah. hopefully end so, of the month. Hopefully end of the month sometime, perhaps beginning of November, but the order's in, so mm -hmm. hopefully not be too long. Yes. Uh, Trevor says, I want to buy a new set of sprue nippers or cutters. What do you guys recommend? I know you talk about Godhound ones. Uh, but they go for around about sixty dollars in Canada. That's cheap. <laughs> Why not? Send me some. <laughs> I was going to say we'll be buying from you because that's cheap. Actually, sixty dollars over here. Yeah, it's horrendous. What, what that uh, convert as into English pounds? Because I'm after a new pair. If you can yeah. get them, I will pay you, and you can send me some over. I'm <laughs> desperate. I broke mine, and you've broke yours. I broke mine. Yeah. Oh, good to. Uh, are they worth it? Or you do have another option? uh for another thing for small tools uh like that would shipping from the uk still be expensive uh like it for kits <sighs> to be honest all shipping anywhere on the planet for some reason is incredibly expensive and i don't yeah. think you just blame covid really but yeah. at the moment it does a lot of it obviously they do volumatic weight now which is something that came in a few years ago but it's still going to be i don't know what that will be weight wise probably 250 grams if you're doing it signed and tracked you're still probably looking at sort of 12 15 quid shipping I'd, yeah i just said so minimum yeah. yeah minimum i think minimum to the us if it's like a jiffy bag is 15 pounds now tracked yeah. and signed because mm. uh, that's gone up because it was about 12 i think and it's yeah. gone up because i got informed by my um, man at the post office that, that the prices have gone up yes so obviously something like a, a pair of snips say will go in a jiffy bag yes if it's nicely packaged but yeah you're going to be looking at probably 15 16 quid postage yeah um, so just, obviously yeah. for snippers like me and Matt obviously speak about these ones as well, and obviously they are reboxed now by Meng. Uh, anything you can see with display written on it is now done by Meng. The only trouble is they're more expensive yeah. than display are. I know a lot of people say, oh, display, they're expensive, but Meng have got them and then put their cut on it, and they're even more expensive. Yeah. So I've got a pair of Tamiya ones. This is a fine point, but these have got the double blades. Yes. Uh, which, are, which are okay. Yeah. Good set of snips, not the cheapest either. These these we stock, and obviously they're um, I don't know how much they are, but they're not cheap. But no. they're, but they're nice pair. But I, I, I'm definitely preferring the single edge yeah. or single sided ones, which are the display or the god hand. Or actually, we've got the trumpeter ones in the mm -hmm. master tool ones. And Nathan's took a pair, and he says they're actually not that bad. Right. They're not as refined, obviously, as God hand, mm -hmm. which he's got. Yeah. Um, but he said they do a job. 
And for the money, they, I don't know why, how much are they on, on our site for the master tool one? For the master tool They're not one. very expensive. We've sold bucket loads since we got them in, to be honest. Fifteen twenty quid. No, I don't, not find them. So the trumpeter ones are sixteen quid. Sixteen. And that's their single edge ones. So yeah. You know, um, yeah, I think it's one that you pay money. You take your choice. It is. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's one of those things because you know I've got my God hands ones here as well, and obviously you've got your sort of evolution really of all three. So. The God Hand ones are absolutely fantastic and you will never find a better pair of cutters anywhere on this planet. But mine have sheared off at the top. So because, again, I think Nathan was saying it the other day, weren't we? We were talking about them. Um, they don't yeah. even like cutting clear plastic nope. because it's obviously a little bit more brittle than normal plastic styrene. Uh, yeah. And he's managed to break a pair doing it that way. Um, I've taken the tips off of mine and I purely tend to use mine for the very smallest jobs, you know, and all the rest of it. So, you know, that's it. They're very good, but they, for general modeling, I think they're too refined for it and you are going to break them very, very easily. Then you can come along with your hands like we said, the Meng or the Display Cutters. They're probably my next one down the line. They're really, really nice, very refined, but I have broken mine as well. Um, so, you know, that's the thing with that. I managed to shear mine off as well, probably trying to cut something a little bit too thick. So that's always a little bit of a problem. They're really nice. Next one along the line that I like, actually, the Mr. Hobby ones, which Matt sent me down. Yeah, well, them ones, because they got discontinued and they've got some new ones. Yeah. Um, and we're not stocking them yet, but I think we are going to get some in, to be honest, because they are a bit more robust, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And that's they, what I was going to say. I, I the three, you think you're, you're doing this thing where very, very refined, but very delicate. Um, you don't want to go chomping around very nice, but very refined, but probably won't get you as quite a tight a cut. And then after that, these are actually really nice. And the reason, you know, it was a bit of a shame because they were, we thought they were discontinued, wouldn't it? And it was like, why? Because actually these are really tough. I haven't broken them. They've still got points and I use them all the time. So yeah. they are yeah. very nice. And then it's always worth having though, something like, you, you know, not so much these, these are probably overpriced for it, but a good pair of hacking ones. And this is good for doing yeah. your really, uh, your proper dodgy yeah. Mac 2 kits. Yeah, well, you want got, something that is, yeah, you know, something like that. Yeah, just a normal yeah. pair of side cutters, and this is great for hacking through stuff, even if you clean it up afterwards. But it is. But I tell you what, the biggest I think thing you need to remember is that don't try and cut anything bigger than you know quarter of a mil with something like with a pair of god hands because you're going to wreck them and again even with the display ones if you're thinking about cutting through anything bigger than you know two mil or something else like that you might end up cracking them or like I actually took a chunk semicircle right out of mine uh, where they just gave up so if you are doing with stronger plastics and hacking through then just use the right ones and they will last you a long time it's just we're, we're all guilty of it you're thinking oh these will do <laughs> you know and you know full well in your back of your mind you shouldn't use these for doing it but you know it's a bit like yeah. cutting wire you know and to be honest yeah, this yeah. foil that for doing this bracing underneath i needed a perfectly green cut so i ended up using the display cutters which you shouldn't do because you're no. cutting very thin metal but it's basically just a little bit thicker than foil and i thought we'd get away with it which we did uh which is very very nice for but in some ways it's because i couldn't be bothered to find anything you know you're like what <laughs> oh just use these you know but you shouldn't because otherwise you're going to get yourself into trouble with that yeah but yes, but no, it's it's one of those things, as they say, horses for courses. Every tool has its own job. And that's why, you know, you might get people, and for years I was one of them. I just used to use my orange scissors for absolutely everything. They were doing decals, they were cutting wire, they were cutting sprue, and they were cutting photo etch. Now I tend to use them just for photo etch, admittedly, uh, and cutting wires because I've got these. But it is that thing. There's nothing wrong with having a few different, tools for doing different types yeah. of jobs you know because again if you're doing with very very fine um you know like antennas or very fine things on a sprue a good pair of cutters means you won't have to clean it up so i tend yeah. to use my god hands for that if you go along flat to it and cut you probably won't have to clear it up because it is that close yeah obviously if you use a cheaper one you're gonna have a big step and you're gonna have to clean it afterwards so yeah. again it is one of those but it's just being careful respectful of your tool don't overstress it because you're just going to end up breaking it. And again, you are talking the same thing. So as I say, 80 quid here in the UK for a pair of God hands. The display ones, I think, are around about 50, is it now? Something like that. 
in I think May, so. something like that. And then these ones, I think, were about 25, 30 for the... I think 35, 35 I think. something like that, yeah. And I then obviously they get cheaper as you go down. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know what they are. What's the price on our Tamiya ones here at the bottom of the page? Which is obviously the double-edged ones. But yeah. They're not cheap anymore. I think they're 30 quid, aren't they? Or 35 quid. Yeah, I can't find them there. Where are our ones? Right at the bottom, I think. Uh, on the bottom. Oh, yeah, there they are. Uh, 36, yeah. 36, so there you go. And, and like I say, to be honest with you, I'd probably start if it's thing it is go with the master tools one at sixteen. Yeah, that's it. And work up. And then see how you like them. And then if you're well, perhaps I will have some god hand or whatever because they are like I said, they're single blade cutters. And like Nathan said, they're not that bad. No. They, they work. Yes. They're just not as refined. But you know they're a start, aren't they? So yes. I've never tried them yet, to be honest. And I know you've not got none, so I've they could never do tried with them a... either. But yeah, the big point is we often talk about it. Don't forget, it's just this thing about single edge and double edge. Okay, so yeah. basically your old fashioned and a pair of scissors, what we call a double edge. So it's causing a wedge. So when it comes in, it's actually cutting like that. So it's putting pressure on the top part and then it pings off. I've got videos all about this. Go and watch the reviews, okay? But a single edge one, it's got a block and a blade and the blade comes in from the side and just cuts straight across. So there's no pressure. So when you cut with these single edge ones, bits don't ping off, they just sit on the top. You cut all day long and it just sits there. It doesn't go anywhere, okay? Yeah. And that's because there's no pressure involved with it. A lot of cutters, the cheap, nasty ones, they get probably a two thirds of the way through pressure. Mm pings it off it doesn't even cut it it just fires mm. it off and flicks it off so that's the thing to it so that's what you're really looking for from a modeling point of view is what we call a single edge cutter so it's one that's just there the other one just comes in and then clamp across it uh, and you'll get a far nicer cleaner cut with it every time you know and that's it the other thing as well if you are using them put the cover back on them if you've got the expensive ones and that way you'll keep your points longer Yes, it stops the strain actually as well on the mechanism, doesn't it? Yes. Because it shuts it them up a little it. bit just yeah. to stop them straining, which mm. which is also, I wonder why you never did it with ease, because no. obviously if the spring... Because I remember that these ones here, which were the uh, Mr. Hobby ones, they used to have a plastic cap, but I don't know what yes. they've done with it. They did have a yes. hard plastic shell that goes over these, but to be honest, I've lost it. So it's disappeared somewhere. Yeah. But yes... So there we go. That's it. That's what you want. You want nippers. You need nippers, nippers in your life. That's it. Get some nippers. Definitely. <laughs> right. Okie dokie. Is that us done for today then? It is. It is. Yes. Lovely job. As I say, um, Matt is having a bit of a holly bob break from Friday till Tuesday. Yep, I am. So, so Matt's going to have the week off, which probably means he's going to be doing housework. Weekend. Weekend <laughs> off. Means weekend I'm off. Doing... Uh, and sure. stuff like that. So if you have got any orders placed, obviously, with the PM store from Friday, they will all be dispatched and sorted out, obviously, on the following Tuesday. All right. So just going to be a few days away. So if you don't get your tracking info straight away, that's the reason why uh, and Please. things like that, as I said. Uh, as for the bottles and that, they said they are available right now on the actual Floyd model site. I'm going to send the load up to Matt as well. So Matt have them on the PM store. Uh, I'm going through and a couple of other things that we're working on as well. So, yes. And then you're on tomorrow night, aren't you? Back to the 18th. Well, apparently I might be, I might not. I'm going to pre-warn you about this. Even oh. on here, our internet is shocking. Oh, and right, I don't know okay. why. I've done a test on the computer. I've done a thing. And I've, I've been on with the lads. And seriously, it's it's terrible. Oh, you're I'm going to take the laptop and I'm going to take this and see if it's not my computer that's playing up. But I reckon they've turned the internet down. Right. Because even Leslie said it's been really just rubbish. So yeah. I'm going to have to do a test. I've already pre-warned I might need a stand-in tomorrow. Right, okay, no if, problem. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see but yeah obviously there's no point in being on if you i'm back to how i used to be pixelated and you can't hear what i'm saying yes and dropping in and out so we'll see but i'm going to take the laptop and give that a go before we start and one of the other lads will just stand in if i crap so, so there we go then guys so say so matt may be with us tomorrow night maybe not if not we'll have old 8-bit map back could be good uh apologies yeah. from my point of view because if you get any sound trouble i have had it has just racked up now is my new microphone because my microphone died yesterday so yesterday's show every time i touch the table it's like boom 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 <laughs> so uh yeah i've got my new microphone it's just racked up so we're using a backup microphone at the moment so um yes hopefully we'll all be good back to normal tomorrow as we make our way yep. through right okay. lovely job thank you very much for joining us as always don't forget just please have a look around the old pm store We've got lots of stuff in there loads of stuff we haven't even covered hundreds and hundreds of lines and various things down there so all your tools your paints and your kits and everything else like that you can get yeah. from us so anyway till tomorrow everybody happy modeling take care and we'll see you soon bye bye, -bye.